Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of our Posio POS from Insight Retail Software. It's not going to be an exhaustive demo of all the features, but it'll give you a good starting point to uh, check out what we have to offer. So initially, you're going to be greeted by the login screen. You're going to enter the four-digit user ID that you're going to set in the cloud and the password. As you log in, it's going to start synchronizing some of the data, some of the screens you might have changed since the last login, discounts you might have added, promotions. All the items update and are added in real time, so those generally uh, don't need to be pulled down, but any of the major parts of the POS system that you wouldn't want to interrupt the cashier are going to come down when you log in. So you can hit done, and you're going to be greeted by the three main sections of the POS. The first one is manager mode. In here is the integrated payment system. If you have integrated credit cards, then you can see things like your open batches, you can manually close batch, and we're able to remote in and download parameters to the pin pad and find the TranCloud credit card device on your local network. Each time a cashier signs in for the first time in the day, they're going to go to non-sale mode and open a session. Basically tells the POS that they're ready to work for the day. Once they open the session, they're going to go right to the sale screen. If you head back to the main screen, you can see sale mode, and that's another way to get right to the sale screen. In the top right corner, it's going to say the cashier's name. And then the top left, you can see the name of the POS, POS1, POS2, etc., the date, and then an indicator to tell you that it is definitely connected to the internet. The top right is the subtotal section where you can see discounts, subtotals, etc. and the scan product area. There's three main sections to the POS screen. On the right side is the number entry section. Then you have POS area 1 and POS area 2. POS area 1 are those two columns in the middle and POS area 2 is the three rows on the left side. Pretty much all the buttons other than the cash button and the number entry buttons are customizable. You can move them around, add different ones, move a function here, there, remove things you don't need, change the colors of the buttons. You don't even need all three rows on the left. You could have no rows, one row, two rows, or all three. Let's try a transaction. Let's sell a large coffee using one of the quick keys in POS Area 2. We're going to cash it out with $10. That simple. Some of the other tenders you see here are credit card, EBT, you can click there and get the full EBT options. Other tenders like offline credit card, gift card, or if you need to key in the card instead of swiping it on the pin pad. You could put any types of functions in these buttons. You see the size. If we need to sell a six pack instead of a single, we can select it there. If we change our mind, we can go back, hit reset and go back to quantity of one. Here we put our price check function right on the main screen. You can click in here and scan an item or bring up the on-screen keyboard and search for it, select it, price check it, and add it to your sale. Let's change this to 12 quantity. And cash it out. In the items section, you can create categories of whatever items you want to be available to the cashier. There's subcategories, you can change the colors, reorder them, add as many as you like. Let's add a couple of Marlboros. You see the scan data discount show up there for multi-pack. let's say this is a loyalty customer. The integrated credit card is going to reach out to the pin pad, customer enters their 10 digit phone number, and then the loyalty discount is applied. You see over on the right it totals your discounts, it gives the customer loyalty number up at the top, and we can cash it out. So let's do another sale. Let's select a few Marlboros. 
Now let's say someone changes their mind and we need to void out an item. We'll highlight the item in yellow, go to function, and hit void. Any highlighted item is going to be voided out. Let's highlight another one, void that one. And now we can cash out the sale. Some of the other functions in the function section, you got the option to turn receipts on or off. That's where price check usually lives. We put it on our main screen. Reprint the last receipt, void and cancel live there, no sale, and refund. To do refund, you just select refund, scan your item, comes up negative, and then cash or credit to give the refund. Next section is discounts. You can set up any discounts you want. You can put them in the discount section or add them to POS area one or two if you want quick access. So let's do a $1 coupon for this item. We apply it. It shows it over on the left side next to the item and in the subtotal section on the top right. quick cash buttons show up once you have an item there. You can hit cash, see whichever ones you want over there, but you could add them to POS area one or two if you want quick access all the time. Let's cancel this whole transaction. Let's say we want to start totally over. Just go to function cancel, verify it, and you're done. When your cashier is done for the day, all they have to do is log out. There's no manual end of day that needs to be run, and all your transactions are live in the cloud as they happen. Thanks for watching this quick walkthrough of Arpazio POS. If you want more information, please visit our website or email us at sales at insightrs.com.